going to do a little quick demonstration here with the self-watering grow box. And somebody asked how I use the hemp mat. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. That's the one that I use. It's called Terra Fiber. Someone asked why. And basically it's just trying something different. It's new. I saw it was, uh, says it's sustainable. It's industrial hemp fibers. They're clean, separated, and needle punched into a reinforced backing that's biodegradable. So the whole thing's compostable, biodegradable. I'll pull one out here for you. This whole thing was like $15, I think. There's about 40 mats. But it's just a bunch of stuff. It looks kind of like coconut coir. And it's just got a little biodegradable backing on it. See that? It's supposed to be super absorbent. So we're going to use one of those. And what else do we need? Use shop towels. A little ramen. After you eat your ramen, you keep that or any kind of dark plastic container that can cover it. Now I use a shop towel. This is easy because the whole roll of this was like $2. Um, and it's super absorbent. It's a little stronger than regular paper towels. You can use a regular paper towel if you like. Um, I've used those before. That's how I got started. You can use a chamois. If you want something natural, you can even grab an old cotton t-shirt, a white one, and just cut it up in a strip and use it. I'm going to plant a little broccoli seeds this time. Make a little broccoli sprouts. But I want to show you how easy this is. Fill that up with water. I always start all my sprouts with just water. After about the first week after they sprout, I might put a little tiny bit of nutrients in there just for the last couple of days to give them a little bit of a boost. But basically it's just water to get started with. And I'm using a container that I've already used. On the last one you can see it's already cut there. Actually messed up when I cut the little corner. But this is why I use a little Dremel tool with the straight cutting bit. Is that, see how thick that slot is? If you don't have a Dremel tool, you can always use a little razor blade or knife and just cut you a couple of slits. I like the Dremel tool because that straight cutting bit, I can get a little bit of a slot in there that's easy to get this paper towel or chamois or whatever you want to use in there. Now one of these I've found only goes about halfway down in here. So you have to keep an eye on it that it doesn't go down farther than halfway. If you don't want to, if you want to just make this set it and forget it, use two of these and drape one down one side and one down the other side and it'll last a little bit longer before you have to get in there and even think about it. I just fold it in half because it's about the size of the container and you'll see if you try this if you just cut a little narrow slit and you try to pull this paper towel through you'll see how difficult it is but with that see how easy it is with that wide slot through until they're about even on both sides. See how simple that is? No time at all. And I just set it right on there. And it'll start absorbing water while we're talking. Um, if you want to go ahead and get started really quick, let me get the hose here. I'll just get a little get me a little water. You see it's already starting to wick up. Pull that up there so you can see it. See how it's already wicking up on edge? That's what you want to see. And that's how it's self-watering. It just wicks up. Keeps a little bit of moisture on there. So you can let that go for about 10 minutes and it'll be totally wicked up. And you can do it just like this. That's how I started. You can grow microgreens right on there. But if you want to use your microgreens where you want to transfer them to something like this. This is broccoli sprouts right here. This that we're going to start. These are those bad boys right there. Now the roots will grow through here. And what will happen is there's not a whole lot to hold on to. And they'll fall over. So they'll be all over the place and kind of straggling. That's why I like something with a little bit of structure. It gives the roots a little something to hold on to so they can grow to your baby green stage you can toss them into here so i set that on there and you can sit like so you can just sit there and let this wait but we're not going to wait that long 
I went and got a little water. I'm just going to dip this in. Get that nice and moist. Just set it on there. That's why I like these little 5x5 five five mats and this little dollar store container. It's just because it's just the right size. I can cut two little slots on the edges and that 5x5 five five fits right in there. Now don't stress out about it. A lot of people, they've stopped selling this green color for some reason. They got black and red and all the different colors. But some don't even have this. Um, just find any kind of container that you can cut a couple of slots in and run a paper towel through and it'll be fine. So you don't have to have this exact thing. I just thought that it looked pretty neat. You know, we had a bunch of the same containers. They're all green. It looked nice, but you know, it doesn't have to be this exact container. Don't stress out about that. Anyhow, that's what, there's not much else to do, except I get about, I'm gonna try about a tablespoon. back in I just like using this little bowl and sometimes I try to catch it because this mats wet some of them will stick some of them are gonna bounce off a little I'll bring you in for a close-up of this later so you're gonna find out if you use the grow mat like we used before this is not gonna sit down in there just like in the grow mat or if you put it on soil this hemp fiber is up and down what you got to do is just get in here and kind of spread them around a little try to make it as even as you can and not get it too dense a little bit more And then what we like to do is eat some of these as microgreens. But then what we don't eat, we pop in here. So you can tell if you grow this and you just get this little bit of microgreens right here. But then if you take out, like right there's like only about 10 plants and you stick them into the downspouts, you can see all of this right here that you can grow. So you've got all of that from that little space. So basically this, you can either grow this much microgreens or you can grow a whole table full of baby greens. So that's why I like the downspouts. You know, this grows really fast, seven to 10 days. You can have microgreens, but if you want, you can pull some of those out, let them go for another week or so. You saw me plant these out, you know, on my last video, the video before last, and they're already ready to eat. Um, I don't think these are going to grow to head where you're going to get an actual um, head of broccoli. I don't worry about doing that in these cracky containers. I'll do that in a normal garden. But in these cracky containers, I'm just worried about growing a bunch of baby greens and a lack of variety. You know, pak choy grows really well, but sooner or later, you get tired of pak choy. This week. And the only other thing to do is if you have a spray bottle, spritz the top um, I can go get mine give me one second there we go it's plain water nothing fancy and really then you get your little container it's wet already but usually when it be wet like that spritz that a little set it on top let it go for about three days you know you're gonna have to check it once they start to germinate and they start to sprout pop that off let it get some sun we'll go ahead and let that sit for a couple of days let it germinate pop the top off have them under brad's grow lights and we'll see how it does the rest of this goes back in there so you can see barely a tablespoon look how much comes in a bag i mean that'll take a while to use that now, since it's still here, I'm going to give you another tip. You might want to try this, especially if you live in a high humidity place like I do. If you're like in Arizona or something, you might not need it. But this tends to stay a little moist, a little wet. It's self-watering, so you don't have to take care of it, right? It grows by itself. 
But if you don't have any ventilation, you could get mold growing on here. And even with the ventilation, you still might get it too. It's, it's just staying really wet. Um, there, there's a higher chance of it. And what I found, so this is what I've done. And it seems to work. I'll try it with this one and maybe we'll try it a couple more times. The last uh, sunflower seeds, the last sunflower sprouts and the last pea sprouts that I grew with just a hemp mat. I did this also, I just got a little vermiculite. Now this is the real horticultural, this is the real fine grade. Yes, it's fine grade. Excellent for seed starting. You don't want the real chunky white stuff. And the white one may turn a little green, but this just looks like real fine. And what I do is just cover this up. Any part that makes moisture. That's just like a level of sand on it. And if you had soil growing on it. And that cuts down the moisture on the top. So when the fan blows across it, it'll dry that layer out. And that way your mat doesn't dry out. And then the top layer stays relatively dry. Cuts down on the mold problem. At least for me. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. All right, so that's about it. The little lid, spritz. Y'all set. All you gotta do is just check on it in a couple of days, wait for them to sprout, pull that top off, and it should grow by itself. Um, if you feel like it, if it looks like it's not getting even moisture, you might wanna spritz it in the middle a little because you've got the wick coming up on both sides. The sides might get a little, start to grow a little faster than the middle and they might soak up the water quicker than the middle ones can get it. So you might want to spritz the middle a little, but I'm just gonna let that one go. See how it does. So I hope that answers some of your questions. If you've got a question about something and you want me to make a video, go and leave it down in the comments below and I'll, I'll shoot you a video. But y'all get out there, it's fall weather. We're gonna go this bolted a little bit. Got a little leggy. It didn't bolt yet, it just got leggy. We really warmed up. And now we cool down a little bit again and then they started to grow but that's enough to make a couple salads and sandwiches we're gonna go ahead and do that gonna go by the stores and see if they have any more lettuce um, available because I don't have any sprouted yet so all right y'all get out there all right don't forget lift and inspire keep on growing I love y'all Peace.